Yo, what is going on everybody? This is Samuel Brown, aka RBT, coming at you with another challenge here on Madden 16 Draft Champions. And today, as you see in the title, we're going to be doing a full Pac-12 Conference Draft. We've already done the Big Ten, SEC, and the ACC, I believe, so it's going to be just like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to draft every player possible out of the Pac-12 Conference. If there is a round where nobody played in the Pac-12, I just get to pick whoever I want out of that round because that's what you guys wanted me to do instead of going with the lowest overall. But as always, if you want to have a chance to play me in this series, be sure to leave your gamer tag in the comment section below, like the video, and follow me on Twitter. Check for updates when I am recording for the series. First person to respond to the tweet when I am recording for the series with their gamer tag does get to play me and have a chance to win 20,000 coins and with that said let's jump into the draft tomorrow guys we're gonna have an NFL draft special challenge and then on Friday guys be watching out for my upload Friday like I'm not even kidding the video coming out Friday contains what I believe being genuinely honest maybe the most insane Madden moment in the history of the game like I'm not even joking you guys so that's a big statement, and you guys will see what I'm talking about when it comes out. For this coach's round, I've had a lot of people tell me just for the coach's round to pick the middle coach because it helps out the rest of your draft, helps you get better players. I don't know if I believe in that, but a lot of people do believe in it. Usually just go with the coach that fits the draft challenge, but you guys just want me to go with the middle coach. So we are going to go with Gary Kubiak. Not sure if he might have coached in the Pac-12. For all I know, I went to a Pac-12 school. But we are going into round one, and let's see what we're going to get out of this first round. And we're going to start it off with some decent players. Okay, well, John Coon's the only chance we have because Marquise Pouncey played at Florida and Amari Cooper played at Alabama. Anybody ever heard of Shippensburg University? Because I haven't. And that's where John Coon went, so it seems like every draft I do, the first round's always a fail when it comes to the challenge, but I guess good for me, I get to pick who I want, and I'm not going to go with Amari Cooper because he does have better versions of his card, although that card's pretty insane. I'm not going to get a fullback, so I am going to go ahead and start off the offensive line by getting elite Marquise Pouncey, and I know a lot of people want me to go with like the skill position players and say when I get offensive linemen I draft bad or that's a bad pick, but I think it's smart, and out of this one... We might get Ray Maluga because he did play at USC. I'm not sure about, I think Geno Atkins played at Florida. I might have to look up Jeremiah Ratliff. I'm sorry, Georgia fans. Geno Atkins played at Georgia, not Florida. I apologize. I think I said he played at Florida. He played at Georgia. Jeremiah Ratliff played at Auburn. And then Ray Maluga did play at USC, obviously. So we are going with the big middle linebacker from the Bengals who actually is a lot faster than I thought he was going to be. He has really good hit power as well as 95 hit power. So here I know off the top of my head that I just get to pick out of this round because Chase Daniel, he played at Missouri. Jeremy Hill, he played at LSU. And so did Ruben Randall. So what do I go with right here? Do I go with the running back? I've played with Chase Daniel before in the series and he was phenomenal, but maybe I need to pick somebody else or another quarterback, hopefully get another quarterback since I already played with him. You've already seen gameplay from him, so I think I might just go ahead and get Ruben Randall. Pretty good stat, 6-2, let's get him. Well, another round where nobody played in the Pac-12. Jonathan Casey has played at Wisconsin. Jack Crawford, he played at Penn State. And Adrian Wilson, he played in the ACC at North Carolina State. And I think 100% I'm going with Jonathan Casillas here. 90 speed at linebacker, 100%. These selections, man, are just absolutely pathetic so far. If we look, freaking Jared Valdir played at Hillsdale College. Hillsdale College. And Dan Scuda, he played at Grand Valley State University. What's the deal here? And Greg Hardy, he played at Ole Miss. Do I just go ahead and get another linebacker? What's the odds? We, we'll probably get another linebacker better than him, so... I might just go, should I just go Greg Hardy, or should I get a left tackle? You know what? Let's get a left tackle. We'll go with Jared Feldier. You might not agree with it, but let's go ahead and get our big left tackle. Now going into round six, give us some elites. And what is the deal here, guys? These picks. Well, this continues to be a fail. Danell Ellerby played at Georgia. Bruce Irvin, he played at West Virginia. And Trayvon Williams played at Louisiana Tech. So... I don't understand the deal with this draft, but this kind of sucks. So what do we do here? Do we just go with Bruce Irvin? We passed up. Well, I guess that's the only thing we can do is really go with Bruce Irvin. So there's the pick. God, man. God, God, God. Come on. Give us some elites. What the heck, dude? This is so ignorant, man. Well, it's all going to come down to Dwayne Bow because Lane Johnson played at Oklahoma and Travis Kelsey played at Cincinnati. So if Dwayne Bow didn't play in the Pac-12, that's going to suck. Madden just hates me, honestly. They just hate me and they don't want this video to be good. Dwayne Bow played at LSU. So we are going to go with Travis Kelsey. Go ahead and get us a pretty good tight end. 
God, dude, just, uh, have we gotten, like, one elite selection this whole entire time? Something's gotta be going on here. It continues to be an absolute fail. I don't understand what the deal is here. Colin Jones, he played at TCU. He played at Bethune-Cookman. And Wesley Woodyard played at Kentucky. I guess we go with Colin Jones. He has some good stats, but... I'm, I'm sad, honestly. Halfway through, we've gotten, what, one elite? Have we even got an elite player? And, like, one player out of the Pac-12. This is such a fail, dude. Such a freaking fail. Tennessee. He played at Purdue. Mark is Chris played at Clemson. Oh, my, dude. Do we just go with Cliff Averill? I don't even know what to title this video anymore. Do I title it Pac-12 Draft? I mean, I guess, but I'm going to make people mad. I can't help it. We usually get a lot of Pac-12 players, and finally, finally, I'm actually, even though we already have a right outside linebacker, I'm happy because we actually get a player that went to Arizona State. I know Vontae's Burfitt, and I don't, I don't even care that we already have a right outside linebacker, honestly. So Malcolm Jenkins played at Ohio State, and Antonio Smith played at Oklahoma State. So we are getting Vontae's Burfitt, which, I, like I said, I'm just happy that he actually plays in the Pac-12 because this has just been a fail. What is up with these picks, man? Just pathetic. Finally. Finally some elites. And I don't think we're even going to have a player out of the Pac-12. So I know Matt Forte played at Tulane. He played at Houston. Julius Thomas, who knows where he played. He played at Portland State. Honestly, if this would have been an FCS draft, not even FBS teams, I would have gotten more players than I did by picking Pac-12 players. Like, ridiculous, dude. So, what do I do? Do I go Sebastian Vollmer? I haven't got a running back yet. Or a quarterback, so I guess I should go ahead and get a running back. A guy that can actually carry the ball and probably... The only chance of winning this game is Matt Forte, so why don't we go ahead and get him? This is just pathetic, dude. Finally, we're getting some elites. Finally. Finally. Marcus Mariota! Oh, that is clutch. That is so clutch. Don't even... Oh, I'm, I guess I'm going to go ahead and check and see where these guys play, but regardless, that's so clutch. Uh, I think this whole entire draft has led up to this point. So Charles Johnson, he played at Georgia. Torrey Smith played at Maryland. Oh, my God, dude. That card... I'm just now looking at the stats. 97 speed, not oh my. But anyways, who cares? Because we're getting a quarterback, an all-rookie Marcus Mariota, which is so clutch. Well, back down to reality, another non-elite round, and none of these players played in the Pac-12. So I get to pick, and we already got a right in. We probably could play him at left end, though. Elvis Dumerville, we could actually play him at defensive end, probably. And I think that's what I'm going to do. We already have, we have too many linebackers, though, don't we? Do I just go with Chris Canty? Elvis Dumerville, he played at Louisville. I'm not sure if I said this. He played at Louisville. Rolando McClain played at Alabama. And Chris Canty played at Virginia. So, yeah, he's really, really slow. He, although he's a little bit taller, we are going with Elvis Dumerville. Well, no. Screw it. We'll go, we'll go with Chris Canty. We might can play him a defensive tackle. Give us some elites, please. There we go. And I don't know. Nah, we're not going to have a Pac-12 player out of this thing. So, we're going to go with, I'm going to say Demarius Thomas. Demarius Thomas... He played at Georgia Tech. I know this off the top of my head. He played at Georgia Tech. Larry Fitzgerald played at Pittsburgh. And Brandon Scherf played at Iowa. So, I apologize that there hasn't been many Pac-12 players. But I can't I can't help the cards that I'm dealt. Because I, I don't... No pun intended. I didn't mean as a natural cards. But you get what I'm saying. Anyways, what do I do here? Do I get the highest overall? Ah, uh, this is actually kind of difficult. We, we need another wide receiver, though. Demarius Thomas is pretty legit, honestly. The veteran Larry Fitzgerald, but I got to go with Demarius Thomas. This card looks pretty awesome and Brandon Sheriff, but got to get Demarius Thomas. So going into round 15, give us some clutch players to end off this draft. And we get... This is actually pretty crap. Everything about this draft was just absolute crap, man. The picks, the selections were just pathetic. If it wasn't for Marcus Mariota, this would have been just an absolute fail. What did we get? Four elite rounds at the whole entire draft? Like, what? Tory Holdy played it. North Carolina State, Marshall Falk played at San Diego State, and then Clinton Portis, he played at Miami. I don't know who to get, honestly. Do we go Marshall Falk? But we already have an elite running back. He's the highest overall. We already got two good wide receivers. So what do we do, guys? We might need another receiver. We'll get Torrey Holt. Maybe I'm an idiot for passing up on Marshall Falk or Clinton Portis, but I think we need another wide receiver. And it gives us three really good targets from Marcus Mariota. Because I'm probably going to be throwing the ball a lot out of this game. This this is just bad. Like, it wasn't... I didn't even get many duplicates out of this draft. It's just the selections it gave me were just so bad, man. Like, at this point in Madden, it should be giving you better players than, like, just regular gold cards. Like, what the heck? But anyways, let's look at our team, which got, like, three Pac-12 players. 
We got Marcus Mariota quarterback, which saved the team, like I said. Which I, I might have should have got that that right guard because we only got two linemen, which kind of sucks. We got some good wide receivers, good running back, a very athletic tight end, in Travis Kelsey. Is that new? Is that a new feature in Draft Champions? Which you probably can't see it because my face is in the way. But the card, the back of the card, pops up in the bottom right corner of the screen. I guess that's new. They just, I just had an update before I went into today's draft. But looking at defense. I just now realized I didn't draft a cornerback, which sucks, but we have some pretty good linebackers, and we have, yeah, that's what I was thinking, Chris Canty with it, he was really, really big, 6'7", only 68 speed, I thought he'd be good at defensive tackle, and I already put him there, we have Jadavion Clowney, which is a great base linebacker at left end, so that's going to be fantastic, we probably couldn't have got a better base linebacker than Jadavion Clowney, but... Aside from that, man, this team, this team is just this flat-out trash. But everything about this draft was just absolute trash. Aside from Marcus Mariota, hardly got any Pac-12 players. The selections were pretty awful. The highest player we were given the whole entire draft was the 96 overall, which was in the Legend round. So that just shows you how bad this draft was. But anyways, guys, let's jump into this game with the subscriber. Let's try to save the video, get a win, and not have to give away 20,000 coins for this episode. I think everybody has caught on to what I do here, the first play of the game, and it screws me up, but I might do it. I might as well just go ahead and just try it. He's one-on-one, -on -one, so let's see if Tory Holt can make it. It's going to be a pick, isn't it? He caught it, and he scores a touchdown. <laughs> it's either going to work or it's going to get picked off most of the time, but, I mean, that's why I do it right there. Not been too much to show you guys on this drive, but he's moved the ball very slow and consistently. Uh, short passes such as that, which should be picked off because he's in perfect coverage. Come on, boys. Oh, God. The guy's going to be open. Oh, God. Oh, God. I ran a QB contain for a reason, dude. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, pick. Pick. What the? B Bruce. No. No. That 100% should have been a pick. This is huge right here, boys. Absolutely huge. Pick. What is that? Why can't you do this instead of that? Third down and five, boys. This is a huge play right here. And RB's wide open over the middle. Why do they do that, dude? That's so ignorant. If he doesn't run forward, 17,000 yards is a first down. Another very slow and methodical drive, guys. But as long as we can hold him to a field goal, I'll be happy. I'll be 100% happy on this drive. And let's see what happens right here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Pick. Pick. No. 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 No, 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 no. Oh, my God, dude. First of all, how's that not a pick? Second of all, how does Colin Jones not tackle him? He's wide open over the middle, make the catch, Travis Kelsey, and he's into their territory. Oh, God, timeout, and do, what do I do here? I'd probably go ahead and try to run it and just try to line it up better. Maybe that's the smart thing to do. Maybe get a couple yards right here, and then let's just make sure we call a timeout. Watch him break it, and then, like, he just run out the clock. That would just be great. That would just be great. Just dive. Okay, timeout, hurry, hurry. Two seconds left to go. Keeping it live, keeping it 100, going for the field goal to tie things up, which would be absolutely just huge before the half. And watch me miss it. I am not dabbing right here. I've learned from my mistakes. Watch me miss this because my controller's messed up. That's perfect. That should be a field goal. And we tie things up going into halftime. Football! Get it, get it, get it, get it. There we go. Big hit. Go, go, Jenkins. Yes, I think AJ Hawk with the horse fumble. Jenkins with the recovery. We needed that, guys. You don't even know how bad. Go and play action right here, boys. He's selling out for the run. Demarius Thomas is wide open, and he makes the catch. That's actually Tory Holt. That's going to be a touchdown on 100%. Let's go. The audible, guys. Oh, God. The audible. Went from a toss to a deep play action after I saw him kind of bring his guys in to try to blitz and try to uh, adjust for the toss because he think he knew it was coming. I think he's going to be running like a four vertical type thing, but we will go outside just in case. Oh, God. Oh, man, no! Come on! But I'm not liking my chances right here. He's running the ball. Jonathan Casillas with the big hit, baby! Let's go! And 100% he's going for this. Yes, he is. Come on, boys. This is the biggest play of the game right here. He's already got one fourth down on this drive. Let's not make it two. Oh, I think I know what he's doing right here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yes! Let's go! I knew he was about to throw it to his tight end, so I went and covered him. Ray Malaluga, one of the few Pac-12 players on this team with this sack. Oh, God, come on, one-on-one. -on -one. Pick it off! God, that could have been the game! Running some man, and he's going to get it on these crossing routes, isn't he? Yep, I went the wrong way. Has a dude wide open, and he's going he's gonna to get a lot of yards. That's not, that's not what I wanted there. The crossing routes, man. 
Oh my god, down at the one. There you go, boys. Come on, guys. I mean, a big play right here, and he's going to get a touchdown. He wins the toss, too. Fantastic. Fan-freaking-tastic. 100% no crossing routes coming right here. It just depends on which one we actually try to cover. And he's going to be wide open. Oh, thank God for the overthrow. Is he going to go for this or is he going to punt it? Oh, well, it picked for me. Just fantastic, man. Oh, God, guys. Oh, God. Crossing routes coming 100%. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. And he... Yes! Let's go! Let's go! About time we got pressure. Okay, boy. So he stopped us. But this is a makeable field goal. 48 yards. We made it before. This will give us the win. This will give us the win. Come on. That's perfect. That's got to be in. 100%. That is in. And we win 20 to 17 in overtime, guys. Oh, that was a pretty frustrating game. But shout out to my opponent. He found something that worked. The crossing routes killed me all game. But in the end, we got pressure. We got the stop. The one stop that we needed. And we do get this win 2017. But shout out to X Swayhawk84 for the great game. Brought it in overtime. Came back at the very end of the game. And just about beat me in the end. Surprising enough, you know, a Pac-12 team that didn't have that many Pac-12 players. And a team that really didn't have that many good players aside from Mariota and maybe Torrey Holt. We, uh, we played pretty well. Defensively, they were okay. But with the win, guys, we are going to give my opponent five chances at guessing what team I did build for this episode. And let's see if he can guess it. Hopefully not. <laughs> I'll make it too obvious. I make it too god dang obvious. Oh man, and that's funny too. The second guess is a video I'm gonna do as well. Oh, congrats for the 10k, man. So once again, shout out to X Swayhawk84 for the good game and for guessing the challenge right. He said he posted the Bears offense and he said, big fan of your vids, man, keep it up. I appreciate that, man, I really do. And here you go, here is your 10,000 coins. Here's the Bears offense for 10,000 coins. And enjoy your pro pack. Hopefully you uh, get lucky and get a get a golden ticket. But anyways, guys, that is gonna do it for today's video. Hopefully you did enjoy. Although the first the drafting part of the video was kind of unsuccessful, you know, in correlation with the challenge. But I, I can't help it. But at least we did end up getting the win. And hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to drop a like. I'm never telling you guys to ever give me negative likes in the video because you guys look too deep into that. And some people disliked it on purpose. But you know what? I'm going to be serious. If you guys can hit 500 likes in this video, guys, that would be absolutely amazing for real. You guys, support I'm getting is just insane. And I can't thank you guys enough. But if you do have any suggestions for challenges for me to do in the series, let me know in the comment section below. Like I said, be on the lookout for an NFL Draft special video tomorrow. And also be on the lookout for Friday's upload because, man, like I said, it's just insane. Absolute insanity. But, guys, with that said, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.